Sup, it's the Misfits Podcast, rated five stars on iTunes by Wonders. He says, my cum sock can't take any more podcasts. You guys ever came in a sock? Yeah. Can't have you? Have. Yes, I have. Why? What? Um, desperation. Desperation? Yeah. <laughs> How are you supposed to yeah. Have you? Uh, I've used it to clean up. Who, uh, just as a rag? Yeah. That I can understand more yeah. so for some reason. But like, what's the whole deal with the cum sock? Do you like put it on and then just jerk off with that? No, I no, feel like no, that's no, no, Yeah, no, how's no. this work? Well, Explain this it's to me. Like, never... it's, like, it's like in the way that I've expressed the, the whole uh, toilet paper condom theory. <sighs> like, uh, you know, you get your toilet paper, you, you stuff like your, your finger in it to, to have it be like a you know, receptacle. And then you go until you're about to, you know, you pop the cork and then over it. And then easy clean up, easy fucking flush it down the toilet. You're good. I was out of toilet paper. I was living alone. What are you going to do? Didn't have toilet paper. It was already midway through the act. I was like, oh shit, I'm How desperate. How do you not prepare? <laughs> Dude, you don't ask it's me. It's horny. You don't <laughs> fucking you lose all logic me. when you're horny, mate. Spontaneously make love to yourself. Yeah, I saw something. Like, oh shit, baby. Oh my God. I, I saw fucking I, going I, I, it. You know, I was fucking late at night. I was high. I saw something on the TL. I was like, that's an itch. And I need a scratch. And then there you go. What? And then it, it got to the point where I was like, Okay, wait. this is really shit. And then there was uh, there was like a really shitty sock that I was probably going to throw away anyways. So you weren't wearing the sock? No, I wasn't wearing the sock. You were like, oh, man, I need something. Pull it I off. I didn't through. pull it off my <laughs> fucking foot. No, it was just, it was on the ground. It was I had like a hole in it. You know, it was pretty fucking, you know, I was going to throw it away either way. And I figured, you know, it's got a hole. It's going to be a leaky. Okay. I'm going to give it a try. And, you know, I, okay. yeah, I it was lackluster. It wasn't exactly like a, a, a decent receptacle. And from that point forward, I was like, well, you live and you learn. And I threw it away. Look, if if it was an old sock that you're going to throw away anyway, I can understand. Yeah. I would never decimate a no. fresh sock. No. <laughs> oh, if it was a good dress go sock and it was like made of silk and shit like that, you, you know? Just go, just go to Kmart. <laughs> be, it could be comfy, you know? <laughs> just go to Kmart and just pick up like the fucking 10 pack of socks. Just like, all right, dude, that's 10, 10 days. 10 <laughs> days of jizz. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, 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 right. maybe, well, maybe well, 20. Well, you're going to use the sock once? You could reuse it, I guess, if you wanted to be economical. But if I did that, I'd want to put it in a closet in like a Tupperware and I'd want to spray it with moisture and grow fungus. And then what? Take- <laughs> <laughs> I'm joined by Dude. Swagger Souls. How are you? He's on How the show. You? Uh, Matt's here. Yo, what it do? Uh, Mason's here on the show. What's up, as well. guys? And uh, I'm also here. My name's Cam. Um, All right. How are you going? Hey, doing good. <sighs> Man, so yeah, so what a confession from Swagger. It's not really a confession. It's not like I'm ashamed. You're not ashamed? No, I don't give a fuck. I'll be ashamed for you. Okay, okay, go for it, dude. <laughs> it's I. Uh, nah, dude. It's just. I get it. Not fungus. Who not cares? Fungus? Yeah. Does that even exist? Yeah, dude. Haven't you ever seen the fucking picture of the of the cum sock on the floor with like literally a stalk with the sprouting shroom? I think we're browsing cum different fungus. subreddits. Yeah, there's dude. like what? There's like the cum box too. That was no, another one. No, the cum box. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of that. Like like the cum the cum sock like the, the the semen creates like the nutrients for the mycelium to to root and take place, and then it'll start growing the sock you know, or like the stalk out of the out of the sock so, which is usually like a cotton polyester biodegradable thing uh-huh so it's um, like a shroom it's practically a mushroom essentially it's okay. just this giant shroom you growing grow out of a psychedelic cum mushrooms out of fucking your nut probably not you uh, maybe i mean all it is is i uh, is like uh, like an inoculant right it's just it's literally what the fuck is that it's like if you have mycelium i uh, or or like uh, mycelium like, no or mycelium no. <laughs> uh, our <laughs> who's nut are you using yeah. to grow this shit <laughs> Uh, have you guys ever seen like videos where people like uh, inoculate like uh, like a mycelium mixture with like spores? Again, and we're then, browsing different subreddits, buddy. Like, I don't okay, know, watch this kind all of right. Content. Uh, hey, speaking man. of which, how's Mason Junior doing? Oh, dude, he's so good. He's flourishing. I picked really? a party. Yeah. Oh, the plot. Yeah, yeah. So wait, you're growing his nut no, shit now? No, no, like, no, what's no, going no, on? no, 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 yeah, what Mason's referring to, he had him on steroid uh, for a while, right before we left the Misfits house. It was in rough shape. I think it was, it had like maybe four stalks out of it. It was, uh, it was really beat up. Some, Mason. Dude, some, I was looking after it He was looking well. after it well, but you left it outside on that fucking, <laughs> that, that fucking uh, bench yeah. outside the back that we completely destroyed. Yo, what, what to happened about that? I never found out. Did the landlord like Oh, yeah, we had, we had to, I think we had to pay for a new bench. Oh, shit. It was, it was pretty fucked up. It was fucked up. Yeah, Jay, fucked up. Jay burnt his name into it yeah, with a lighter. Or blowtorch, yeah, no, we, and it was broken and fucked up. But he, either way, he he left the the, the monster out there, and I think someone fucking who was smoking or whatever, like they they, they broke a branch off and then they lit the end on fire or something. So it was in a it was in really rough shape. That sounds like something you would do. No, <laughs> no, dude, I love I love plants. 
especially real ones. If it was fake and plastic, yeah, who fucking cares? Mm. Buy another one for two dollars at IKEA. But that was like a living fucking plant. I want to let it, you know, do whatever. But you know, it was it was in a rough shape. Uh, Mason, I uh, I guess didn't want to look after it at that point. I, well, we were moving out. Yeah, we were moving out. And I was like, I can't take this. Like, yeah. I'll lose it or some shit or yeah it was just you know gonna die and you had more important shit to worry about at that point and so i grabbed the plan i asked you know hey can i take it you named it jack originally yeah yeah Yeah, and then i was like all right fuck that name mason jr so that way i would actually take care of it (laughs) and so uh it was been it's been sitting in my house dude it's fucking massive it's like this big now really it's fucking it's fucking huge i actually um i what, what i did is then i took scissors i sterilized it with isopropyl alcohol and i did a clean cut below the aerial root of one of the of of, of one of the branches and then i stuck that in in water and a giant root is growing out of that so i'm going to get like a potted plant uh like like just a plant pot with fertilizer i'm going to stick it in there and it'll grow an entirely new plant but it'll still be the same plant Right. And I'll give it back to you. Oh, all right. Yeah, so... It's, <laughs> Mason's like, no, it's really okay. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't look after myself and myself. Well, no, it's fine. <laughs> because, <laughs> too many. Yeah, but it's, it's literally Mason the third at that point. It's, it's, it's they can, literally, like, outnumber you, and they're like, your clones will, like, get you in your sleep or some shit. But it's all yeah. inbred, so wouldn't it be disfigured? No, it's not inbred. It's, it's literally... the. It, it would be like if I chopped off my arm, and then my arm grew back, and then my arm could just grow another me. If only. Yeah, right? There's asexual repre- reproduction. I want a podcast with just four swaggers on it. Dude, that would be fucking <laughs> hey, awesome. Hey, hey. Yo, we, we could totally... reminds me of my friend Dave. Or <laughs> Dude, we could, totally, we could totally fucking do that. That would be a funny bit. Yeah, we just... It's just like uh, four different, like shots of me in each chair just talking mm-hmm. with each other for like 15 minutes. Why hasn't someone made one of those mashups yet with the clips from the podcast like Swagger talks oh, to yeah, Swagger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swag, That'd be good. Someone get souls. on that. That'd be yeah. a good one. No, yeah, no, yeah. It'd be pretty good. But we should just change places for one episode and let them <laughs> yeah, edit it together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty good. Yeah. You know. Okay, so you've been uh, looking after Mason's uh, abandoned plant. No, not abandoned. Well, just it, I didn't abandon it. It's I'm, just... I'm a foster dad to that plant. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and you'll get you'll get like something back soon. It'll be really easy to take care of. They're, they're so hard to fucking I need to reunite with him. I need to come back and just water it a bit or some shit. Yeah, just dude. Like, like, hey, how you going, man? See if he remembers. Uh, we should just you know you guys should come around mine like next week or something. Yeah, have a couple of bands. So it's literally like yeah, it's, it's fucking massive, dude. Yeah. It's, it's fuck. real. It's really fucking huge. It's got a lot of lot of leaves. Very very nice. Shit, yeah. Yeah, dude. So I, I have a bunch of plants in my house. They're, they're, yeah. they're all floors, yeah. Plants aren't so bad to take care of. I've got like, I've got a bunch of plants now. I've got like 10 mm. to 15 plants all over my home. You just have to water them once a week. You got a bunch of living shit all over the place. Yeah. It feels good. Mm. I, got a, I got a bamboo plant, not a bamboo. Uh, it's an umbrella plant yeah. that's stuck to a rock. Uh, and you have to like, fill, you have to water it every day. It fucking mm. sucks it up. Mm. Uh, but Thirsty. That I have like a little bonsai, a little bonsai tree mm-hmm. that you can't water too much, or the roots are gonna ride. Mm-hmm. I have a big ivy plant. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got a terrarium down. where it's oh. like in the glass and it'll like do its own little thing. It's oh, like you yeah. have to water it like once a month, and I'm, somehow I'm still fucking it up. I think do you, like the sides are all fogged over and shit. Well, do you have uh, like, um, like like little creatures in there? Like do you have oh, like? No, no, no. Yeah, you gotta. That, that's like the real terrarium shit. I, the I, ecosystem. Yeah, yeah, I went down a fucking rabbit hole, dude. There's this guy online that makes like terrariums and and, and talks what, about how. It, what is a terrarium? A terrarium. It's like a big glass thing where you can put like um, plants and like animals. It's, and it's shit that in 2D it. game. It's, like it's that 2D Minecraft ripoff. 2D. Yeah. It's 2D. Terraria. Get it? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it was pretty epic. Yeah. No, a terrarium. <laughs> Died of laughter. <laughs> no, a terrarium is, um, it, it, it's like a, pretty much like an ecosystem in a jar. So they have these giant tanks. Um, they'll put a bunch of different plants. Usually it's moss. They'll moisturize the shit out of it. And then they'll add stuff like snails or like aphids or different kind of like small insects. Oh, yeah, mine's so not it's in case. Case. Yeah, it's in case and it'll self-perpetuate. So... Uh, plants will die and then turn, you know, and then the worms or whatever will eat them and make it compost and then new leaves will sprout and it'll just do that forever. Oh. And like, yeah. You'll see like the water collect on the top and then it'll like rain down on it when it gets dry enough right. and it'll like do that over and over and shit. Wow. Oh, it's, shit. Pretty, it's pretty fucking cool. Can you just put it in like a hyper accelerator so that you see a little society start forming and <laughs> all the little creatures inside start evolving and yeah. having arguments and shit? 
That'd be sick. It would be pretty sick. <laughs> if only. It's just giant yeah, it looks, worms. It looks something like that. They're like snow globes, but for plants. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah so, someone had an idea to like make a pretty big terrarium and like shoot it off into space. So it would just be like this little uh, encased like part of earth. Uh, that, that what it like crashes into another planet and then like fucks up their ecosystem. And, uh, That's why we <laughs> haven't found life yet. We just killed it all. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. <laughs> why haven't we found life yet? I mean, we, have, we found water. Well, we haven't, we haven't really, yeah, there's water, like, fucking on a lot of different planets in the, mm-hmm. in the, in the solar system. Uh, Mars has, has water, evidence of running water, ice, and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, the thing is, we don't have, like, tools or rovers on Mars comprehensive, comprehensive enough to, like, look at micro fossils or, like, get samples. Whereas, if you fucking just chucked a human on there, you'd be like, yeah. and then look at it with a microscope, and yeah. it'd be a lot quicker but sadly there's a lot of latency mm. with mars rovers do we all believe in extraterrestrial life here yeah there yeah. has to yeah. be there yeah. has maybe to be. maybe sure. not intelligence in, yeah. in our in our neighborhood but like single cell shit on oh, other planets of yeah there has to be we can't be the anomaly no it, it, be a oh, fuck, fucking be a fucking let down uh, i don't know it <laughs> kind of scary it, it kind of be a light down in general, like, we found life, but it's microbial. And it's like, mm. But it'd yeah. still be exciting because you'd want to see how it differs from, from our life, if, whether or not it's, like, silicon or carbon-based. Space mm-hmm. is just too big, like, yeah. if you think about it. Like, there's just, you've got water on Mars, which is a planet that close to us. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's not even that close to us. That's fucking ages away. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, there's got to be another planet Oh, well, they're, they're thinking uh, the moons of Jupiter, the moons of Saturn. Because, like, the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, I mean, they're fucking giants gas giants mm. uh those moons are probably like more comparable to like the size of a planet mm. uh th- you know orbiting around i think you know wh- what's one titan i don't know if it's titan that might have the subsurface oceans or i'm thinking of enceladus or or something else mm-hmm. but they have i know there's one around jupiter that's that has like an icy uh shell but it has a ton of cracks in it because as it orbits as it orbits jupiter um the, the tidal force produced from from the gravity pulls uh, the pl- like the planet disproportionately and that heats it up and they think that that might be what causes the core to heat up. So underneath the thick ice, there must be some kind of subsurface ocean of water, uh. Uh, which is really really interesting. The the issue is penetrating that ice and then getting some kind of rover in there and it'd be pitch black mm. underneath unless there's bioluminescent fucking animals here. Fauna or That'd be pretty flora. epic. Yeah, what if it's inverted Earth theory from ages ago, but just yeah. on this moon? Oh. It'd be pretty sick. But the yeah. thing is, those, those, anything that like grows there probably would never have the capacity to like extend beyond its its planet. Because if it's encased in a giant oh, layer of it ice, leave? it can't leave. Yeah, but what if there are like hyper-intelligent sea creatures in this like inner ocean <laughs> that just have yeah. formed down there? And that's the only world they know, obviously, but they still exist. It would be interesting. But at the same time, there's giant geysers of water that shoot out. So maybe like a crack forms and a bunch of them get expelled into the atmosphere. There's <laughs> just a bunch of floating mermen. <laughs> mermen. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's hope. Yeah, dude, that'd be sick. I just want like some really hyper intelligent life to come along and show us how it's done. Honestly, all right, guys. Gen- we, we, <laughs> what if they come by and they're like, "Oh, what? You haven't killed all your weak and sick? You guys are doing it yeah. all wrong." <laughs> yeah, oh. like, they're, they're, like they're, they're like complete. Like, what if they're like modeled after like eugenics and horrible, like <laughs> terrible shit? And they're like, "Well, it's the most efficient way to, to like yeah, live and hyper succeed. Efficient. Fastest way yeah. to level up, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking those are rookie numbers, just man. Ruthless. Yeah. <laughs> Don't I think, give a fuck about morals or anything. Yeah, I think there was a Star Trek episode like. That were like one alien race was like modeled after after Nazis, and like they were they were like really fucking horrible, but they were super super efficient, and they yeah. were like making technological advancements like left and right. Mm. So the Germans. dangerous episode. Yeah. It was fucking. I mean, it was great. I think there was like another planet uh, that that was supposed to be like. Like an allegory for like the Jewish people and mm-hmm. shit like that. Was it coming from like a place of hatred though, or is it coming from just a place of pure efficiency? I think I think both. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I didn't watch the episode. This is what my dad tells oh, me. Okay. Fucking any time I ask my dad a question or tell him a story <laughs> or anything, he's like, "Oh, well, there was a Star Trek episode about <laughs> that," and then he goes on a spiel. Analogy, <laughs> Andy. Yeah, <laughs> he loves Star Trek. Mm. Yeah, never seen it actually. I've never seen a single episode. Me neither. Really? <laughs> yeah. You've never seen one with your dad or anything like no, that? No, it's a bit too dated for me. A yeah. Little bit, a little bit too dated, a little bit too nerdy. I just know that there's just one character with like the fucking glasses or some shit, isn't it? 
isn't he? Like the visor. Oh, yeah, the, the, the blind black guy. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot what his name was. Something, <laughs> something, something. I mean, you can kind of see why it's such a cultural phenomenon, I think, because when it came out, that would oh, have been cutting like edge. cutting edge and about space and sci-fi, yeah. which were just exploring so many crazy. And, you know, also, when did it come out? Was it around the time when it was uh, like things a, like the moon landing yeah, were happening? Yeah, it was like in the 60s. Yeah. Yeah. So that would have been like really fucking. Yeah, what no, the fuck? That's older than I thought it'd be. I thought no, it'd be like no. the 80s or some shit. No, it was, it was, it's been around since the 60s, I think. Something like that. That's mm-hmm. wild. But yeah, the special effects, the sound d- design, and it's all so dated because mm. it's just old TV. Mm. Uh, so like, I never look at it and be like, "Yeah, that's that's great." Uh, yeah. But you know, it's interesting since like the invention of media and TV, and especially things like the internet, how different I think looking back on history is going to be from this point forward. Mm-hmm. You know, because I feel like before then everything was a lot more. Uh, prone to like skepticism, uh, skeptic. What's the word? Skepticism. 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 Uh, and you can kind of pick apart history and be like, well, like, do we know for sure? Like, what's actually, you know, if it's all written history or like passed down through spoken word, but now we have actual, it's like, like records a library from everything from going on now. Effectively, yeah. Since yeah, but you can have footage and you can have like you know deepfakes. detailed events. Oh, imagine deepfakes. Like, How but, that but there's shit. you know there's always the manipulation of the context of the video and the mm-hmm. context of the pictures. You see that shit a lot on Twitter. Oh, like, all over uh, the internet. You know, it, you know when yeah, it, like like, when, like whenever. A lot, there's a lot of shit that's that's just completely misrepresented. Oh, like absolutely. there'll be like uh, footage of like bombings, like uh, in the Middle East from like fucking 2008, mm-hmm. and then they'll like repost it and be like, "This happened yesterday. This is horrible. This is you know." And, yeah, and then yeah. a bunch of people will be like, "Oh, really? That's fucked up." Yeah. And then it turns out it was just a fucking spoof. Yeah. There's a lot of accounts that there's do so that much. shit online. There's so much. And it's all for fucking to bait outrage for like likes and retweets and cloud as well. Mm-hmm. It's pretty fucked. It's yeah. like the deep fakes scare the shit out of me. And like even now it's like in its infancy and yeah. it looks pretty damn convincing. It's very It's true. only going to get better. Yeah, it's like uh, deep fakes don't really seem like much of a problem because like under closer inspection it's pretty obvious right now, yeah, but, but it's more like, like looking back on the past from the future yeah. it might be hard to tell, I suppose. Well, the um, information is going to be muddied. Uh, Everything is going to have an agenda and a narrative behind it. Yes. Like you're not going to get transparent facts. And, and even, you know, oh, here's a video. This definitely is proven to be happening. But what if it's just a cut out of a video? Yeah, what if, like, like you missed five seconds of context that was super important? Yeah, or, well, you know, that happens it was a like lot. like cancel culture and shit, so everyone will, like, jump aboard you know, it. Media, media ran, you know, I don't know if you saw, like, there was... There was like a video that came out of like the the white woman that pulled a gun on yeah, on, the, on, the, on the on the two uh, black women, mm-hmm. um, you know, and and she's like, get the fuck back, get the, the fuck pregnant back. Pregnant woman, I think. I don't know if she was pregnant. I'm not. I'm not sure. Mm. But uh, it was it was like you know a white couple in the car, and then they they took out a gun and pointed it at them, and it was like this fucking huge thing. Media ran the fuck away with the clips. Mm-hmm. I think they got arrested and all mm-hmm. sorts of shit. You know, there was like a full on video that shows like like a, a good, decent three or four minutes of context before that. And it, and it and like with the whole picture in mind, you're, you're kind of like, yeah, oh, like that's it's really more of like a race baiting situation. Yeah, it, it was. It, that's just the thing is that, you know, the outrage and the and the narrative drives clicks and it's not in the pursuit of truth. It's in the pursuit of fucking money. Yeah. And and, you know, all sorts of shit. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty fucking nuts. It's crazy. It's absolutely wild. And there's so much of that happening too. And so much, especially on Reddit. Reddit's really awful for it. Yeah. Um, well, shit out of context. If you're not outraged, you're an asshole. And, you know, <laughs> like, I don't I don't get it. Yeah, it's a very, um, it's never a popular opinion to be like, well, let's actually wait for the full story and see what actually happens here. It's never, yeah. you know, because obviously it's more entertaining to just take the clip at face value and yeah. then judge it and then judge. It's like, it's very judgmental online right now yeah i i i fucking not gonna avoid that shit i never (laughs) i don't don't ever fucking participate no that's the thing any of that it's um it's interesting like how many people engage in online discussion really for no purpose other than to like it's a it's a choice to be fucking outraged and, and then spew your your thoughts and opinions yeah but i mean i just don't understand the pleasure in it i guess maybe it's just you just want to be heard you just want to have like i i guess i kind of get it it does feel good to get a lot of likes on an opinion you have, right? I guess. Especially if you're socially starved. 
Yeah, and, and <laughs> which or, a lot of these people are. You're 15. Yeah, you're you know? very young. Yeah, and that's the other thing. You don't know how, like, how fucking young these commenters are. Oh, yeah. yeah. Give me some it's fucking kids saying that shit. Yeah, you don't even know. Just some half wit motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> some, I have mean, a terrible perspective on the world. Yeah, I don't, I don't really take a lot of the comments I see seriously at all. Mm. Like, I don't know, man. So, no. At the end of the day, it's just strangers on the internet saying things. So easy to bullshit. You know, so easy I need, just to make shit up. Yeah, dude. I need. You yep. ever have that one kid at school that just made up stories about his life the, all the time? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> just like, yo, I was at a water park last week and I fucking fell off a 10 story I knew a kid who had a PlayStation every week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's, well, he didn't, but he said he did. Oh, he said he had a PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I've got a new PlayStation. I've got a new PlayStation. Got, like, <laughs> constantly, like, every fucking day, he'd say. What even kind of brag is that? Like, oh, I've just right. got so many PlayStations, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's collecting them so that maybe someone would be like, oh, can I have one? And then he can have friends maybe he wasn't lying but no one just no one believed him yeah so he just had like 15 playstations gathering dust at his house <laughs> he's just a desperate playstation salesman yeah businesses were not going well yeah. his dad actually did work for sony yeah. <laughs> yeah strange times very strange times very times very tense times yeah, the COVID's fucking a lot of people up yeah dude i don't know what it is because it's never been this bad it like on on the internet at least to, to my to, to my to my fucking understanding like i see like people on on twitter and are just fucking going balls to the wall fucking mental <laughs> just like like investing hours and and days and weeks mm -hmm. into like you know their, their their little pocket their little corner of twitter yeah. just just constantly here's my opinions here's you know here's why like i'm outraged and mm -hmm. and all of this it's just like man yelling into the void just 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 walk outside just fucking turn off your computer like, that be. shit would be so much healthier yeah than than just wasting your time online yeah part of the reason i uh like disabled my twitter uh mentions for people that i don't follow is because i would constantly just <laughs> like get roped back into discussions between people that I'm just added in, right? That have been going on for like six months, you know, and they're still like going back and forth. Yeah. They're still like, oh yeah, well, you know, it's just that's like, like you'll see like the top YouTube comments, like something really positive, like, oh, that's cute kitten. You click show 109 replies and it's like, <laughs> fuck you, you piece of shit. Like, yeah, like yeah, how, yeah. Did you get here? how did you get here? Honestly, like, what are you doing? Yeah. It's, it's like, uh, it's like boomers on Facebook that like, they mm. like that argue politics for mm. like, hours and hours and hours and get so invested mm -hmm. and it's, it becomes like a hobby i i, yeah. I really think it, it, it is it's almost like a hobby yeah, it must yeah, give it people like a, a dopamine kick. I think. it's like yeah i just fucking owned this fucking boomer online <laughs> fucking fucking absolutely own fucking yeah. stupid idiot it's like the meme where the guy's got like the internet arguments from one like yeah, tallied yeah, up yeah. in the background <laughs> yeah yeah i think that's why it's always very important to analyze like the root of why you're feeling the way you're feeling because I think if you d if you stop and think about that, then you might come to the conclusion that actually it's not coming from a place of like wanting justice at all. It's actually just coming from a place of almost just fucking bored. Go do something, man. E either boredom or just wanting <laughs> to, to participate. A it's a power trip a little bit, I think. You know, it's wanting to feel to cast superior. stones, to cast stones. Yeah. You know, it's almost like a virtue signaling kind of shit. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, so much virtue there's a, signaling. Yeah, there's a, there's a hell of oh, a lot. There was a hell of a lot of that, or attention seeking, or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. lack of fulfillment. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I just like tweeting jokes. I never I never fucking get serious on Twitter. Yeah, Twitter well, Twitter is it's man, not man. worth getting. I don't serious think Twitter's the shit. fucking place to get serious. No. Like at least for me, it's not a natural social discourse, right? It's no. uh, it's strange, and that's what yeah, comedy is above it. So that's kind of yeah. the best use. I'll, I'll just tweet about dicks and yeah. dead babies. <laughs> yeah, just you know, yeah, have a gay old time. Yeah, man, I love having a gay old time, dude. I like having a gay time. Yeah. yeah. Like oh, golden gay, gay, time. gay time. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, if you don't know what a golden gay time is, it's a uh, Australian ice cream. Delicious. Yeah. Uncultured, mm. if you don't know. Yeah. Uncultured. It's, one of, my, it's one of my favorite ice creams. So good. Honeycomb it, wrapped mm. with chocolate. Ooh. Ooh. Don't chocolate have, wrapped with honeycomb. Don't we have like a, literally a, a thousand chalk cops in this, in this fucking house? In yeah, three but freezers? all the cones are stale. They're all stale. Yeah, <laughs> you just got to eat the ice cream on top and then you just fucking throw the cone in. I like the cone. I, I like it's not the bad. Cone. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like it's got <laughs> chocolate in it, so be, it's like still to, tasty. To be honest with you, I'd I'd rather like get a get one of those chalk tops and just rip off the chalk and just eat and just eat the fucking eat the cone. <laughs> it's crunchy. Right. Yeah, dude. Well, for the for the people that don't know what good. happened, it was uh, Ryan P bought like uh, several hundreds worth of these fucking chocolate tops. There's like hundreds of them in the freezer because yeah, it was like one of the cinemas was closing down here because yeah. of COVID. So we just fucking 
bought everything well, up. I'll take all, all, I'll take all the cheap. ice cream. Apparently it's really yeah. cheap. Most people stock up on toilet paper when it's yeah. locked down. Not right in fear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Use chalk tops, dude. Just as, just as good. You might as well wipe your ass with them. There's so many. There's so fucking many of them. Which is ice cream, which is You open shit. up the freezer and they, they, they spill out. There's so many. It's, it's pretty so much excess. Many. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty sick though. You guys have chalk bars here? Do you know what that is? Oh, is that, is that a New Zealand thing? It might be a New Zealand Is that like the two there. chocolate sandwich and that's got like no, the ice cream? Or? It's like an ice cream. So what it is, it's you get a paddle, like a stick, a popsicle stick, mm-hmm. and then you have like a chocolate bar on it. Just okay. Like real like hard chocolate. Then you have ice cream. Yeah. And then you have like a chocolate coating, which is hard. And then you have like coconut. And it's Ooh. the fucking best thing ever. Shout out to you. Oh, actually, pretty hard. Do y'all ever have Klondikes? Yeah, Klondikes. Klondikes. Are cool. Yeah. What, what would you do for one? I don't know what that is. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Shit, bro. What wouldn't you do for a Klondike bar? Murder, suicide. <laughs> I mean, it depends what kind of flavor it is, mate. I'm not putting everything yeah, on the if table. I, was that the appertising caption? What would you do? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, what would you do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> suck dick yeah. under a bridge, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably that's the last Klondike bar. Yeah, a, a triple homicide. <laughs> <laughs> a triple homicide. Yeah, I do. That's what I do for a Klondike bar. Mm-hmm. It's like, um, it was like, it's just like a little square. God, now that I'm trying to describe it, you realize how boring it is. It's, it's just a fucking shit. square. It's, fucking it's a square shit. of ice cream. It's just ice cream in a square, and it's just covered, covered with hard chocolate. Hard chocolate. That's right. it. It's pretty fucking. It's nothing special. Well, must be a very yeah. uh, effective advertising campaign. Yeah. yeah. yeah what <laughs> did you do? They're thick, so it's like you couldn't like sit there and chew on it yourself. Otherwise, you just make a mess. And if you put it in a bowl, you're trying to break it apart he's just sliding around in and the it bowl would, it would fucking melt in your yeah, fingertips it's, it tasted good though it tasted good but fuck it was annoying to eat there there's a special chocolate uh, like ice cream thing here it's like an ice cream sandwich and then a maxi bong a maxi bong yeah. those things are fucking are awesome, awesome dude what are they? Maxi, bong? The maxi, maxi bong maxi bong yeah they're, bong, like, huh? they're fucking awesome it's literally uh it's, it's like a like you know how you would have an ice cream sandwich except um like it's split it, into two. The yeah. heart, first half, it's like oh yeah, I've had those. those chocolate, are good. like um, what is it like? It's just sandwich. Yeah, you have like a chocolate, chocolate sandwich, sandwich and, and then, then like the an ice cream cone on top. on top. Yeah. So you eat the ice cream cone and then you bite into the sandwich and you use your you know the the cookie as like the thing to hold. And it's mm. not like the shitty ice ice cream sandwiches we have in the in the states yeah, where yeah. it fucking peels off. Oh, I hate that. It's like hand. really soft and it's, it's like yeah. Ugh. No, it, it keeps its form. Mm. That shit was fucking mint. <laughs> <laughs> they actually I was wasn't. It was mint. Did they have chocolate? I was so hungry. Yeah, it was, was it, it only mint, or did they have chocolate too? Oh no, vanilla. No, no, it was good mint. Uh, do you guys think the chocolate tastes better here than in, in the states? Or? Yeah, yeah. No, Cadbury and all that shit. Yeah. Way better. Most it, of the meat here tastes better, except bacon. Yeah, I'll stand by American yeah, bacon superior. You have to get the uh, what's it called, rindless bacon or the something. Streaky bacon. It's, it's streaky bacon. Streaky bacon. Yeah, Americans like that streaky bacon. Yeah. I, always think it I just cook it. Like I cook spot. it crispy, bro. You have to. Uh, you have to cook bacon I, crispy. Yeah. Bacon crispy so good. It's yeah. good, but not too crispy. Like you go to American diners and it's just like fucking brittle. You know? I love it, bro. Yes, like, it's like so that. good. You yeah, get the fl- mm-hmm. I like that from like crackling, crunchy. but not bacon. Bacon, I like it to be like I want it to taste like meat. Not I don't want it to yeah, be like but, chewy and but slimy. It's chewy it's like, and yeah. soft, and you're chewing fat. It's not. It's good if it's crispy. Like Imagine a, it's like an egg versus, sandwich. You yeah. put some cheese on the egg sandwich, and you put some streaks of bacon in there. You bite, and there's that little crunch. Yeah. Mm. Well, you want it's the like clean bite. Chips in there, what, you know? All right, guys. What? I think we're making the viewers a bit hungry here. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, I'm craving an American bacon, egg, and cheese yeah. sandwich, man. I had a, I had a bacon and egg sandwich this morning, dude. Fuck, oh. Shit was fucking awesome. Oh, God, I'm so hungry, dude. What's your favorite chocolate? I uh, Cadbury. Cadbury is super like what, good here. What Ooh. specific bar though? I I don't know, man. Like milk chocolate's pretty pretty decent. I like it pretty pretty normal. You know what I think is undisputable fact? Mm-hmm. Kit Kats are the best. Kit Kats are very Kit good. Kit Kats are so fucking good. Yeah. Holy shit! Especially when yeah, you, if you put like texture, every single chocolate. candy bar out and said, "All right, pick one." I think most Kit people Kat. would go for the Kit Kat. Kit Kat for sure. It's the perfect amount of chocolate, like cookie wafer. You just it's like crisp, like that yeah, 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 it's nice. Not I like Twix. If I'm feeling adventurous, I'll get a Twix in there. Yeah, Twix, Twix is more my favorite, I think. Really? Yeah, because it's, it's it's like a Kit Kat with caramel. Mm-hmm. I guess, but Kit Kats have like caramel spinoffs. They do. Blood. But yeah, if you want a Kit Kat, you got to get the original Kit Kat. Twix goes hard. I'm being paid a lot of money by Kit Kat to promote Kit Kat. Kit Kat sponsors, okay. please. Say that. It's not, not true. But hey, Kit Kat, if you're, if, you're, if you're out there and you want to send us a bunch of Kit Kats, yeah, sure. Sure, absolutely. Hey, what? don't they have one of those at Melbourne Central, the Kit Kat store? I think so. Like I always, I've never been in there. No, I, I walked by it so many times. We should, we should look into that. Get custom-made <laughs> Kit Kat flavors. I don't think I need to go to the Kit Kat store. I think I, I, think I do now. <laughs> the chocolate the chocolate in America is pretty ass. Hershey's is pretty shit. Dude, bad. Dude, like, bad. Yeah. When, when somebody pointed out to me when I first came to Australia, I was like,
And then when I went back home and I had a Hershey's bar, it tasted like vomit. It's so <laughs> bad, yeah. And I figured out the reason why. It turns out that when they make the, the Hershey's chocolate, they add butric acid. Uh, for some reason or another, I don't know if it's a preservative or what, but butric acid is also like the same kind of acid that's found in vomit. Uh, um, what the fuck? Yeah, it's not like they're puking into the fucking Hershey's production uh, line, but I, you know, the workers are so sick. <laughs> 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 Whatever the convey about. I don't know. But <laughs> and even Cadbury in America is owned by Hershey's, so it, mm. I'm pretty sure it has butric acid the in Cad- as well. Cadbury tastes different in America. Yeah. They used to be dude, good, but I heard they made them so shit good. now. Flake bars, fucking Oof, good flake. What's your favorite, man? So you know, I don't know. I think I don't really have a favorite chocolate because like I eat I'll have I'll only ever eat small amounts. I won't ever eat heaps. Uh-huh. And like I don't know. I just don't really eat it. What about like lolly? Like, what's your favorite candy? Oh, I, I like candy. Uh, I probably fucking oh, it's tough. I don't know. It's tough for that one. Gummy. I have to think about. You got it for like a gummy, like hard candy. Nah, like? hard candy. Mm-hmm. Probably. Mm. Oh, I can't. Like, really if you're eat. trick or treating, you saw a candy bar in the bag. Which one would you grab first? <sighs> what's full size, full size candy bar. I don't well. know, man. I like those raspberry. Dro- what are they called? Raspberry drops or some shit. And they're like, drops. you get them like, there's this place called Sovereign Hill in Australia and it's like where you pan for gold and shit and they sell, it's oh. like big over there, you, like, they sell them at the shops mm-hmm. and they're like raspberry hard candy. Like an old school one, old school kind of candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like rock hard and like, they're just raspberry. They're pretty good. Nice. Mm. For me, oh man, that's a tough one. I'm so fucking hungry. Um, I, I, I'm I have a huge I sweet tooth. This. I'm going to be honest mm. with you. Like I'm a fiend, like when it comes to candy and chocolate. I just love um, sucking on candy, I like getting it. all the flavor out. Like I love yeah. that. <laughs> have you ever had like a massive oversized lollipop? Oh yeah, yeah. Any, like I, the flat ones, like the big just the big circular. circle, like the yeah, common yeah. ones. Oh, yeah. not one of those. No, I have. I went to like a really shitty, um, like Willy Wonka factory. Not, not Willy Wonka. It was just like a fucking candy factory mm-hmm. in New Zealand, uh, and got one. It was massive. It was so big I couldn't finish it in the day. It took me like three days to finish it. Put it back in the fridge. Holy shit. Those things are the best. You know those fucking big gumball things that like the, the jawbreakers, jaw jaw yeah. Jaw yeah. <laughs> bro. There was this thing at my primary school. Like this one kid would bring them all the time, and like he th- he like throw it in the fucking air. Like he'd throw them in the air, and like it hit the ground. Everyone would scatter to grab as many pieces as they could. Oh, <laughs> and then <what? laughs> off the ground. Yeah, yeah. And then we just go rinse them under the taps and then just eat them. Oh my God. <laughs> That'd be cool. You see all like the colors and shit. Yeah. yeah, dude. That, those comically sized fucking jawbreakers. I, whenever oh, I see them, that I, TV I'm like, show? Yeah, I, yeah. Ed and Nettie. Yeah, yeah. Whenever Nettie. I think of it, I'm like, this is shit is not fucking Ed and Nettie. I can't fucking fit it into my mouth. But you want it. Like the size of their yeah. head just... Dude, you just fucking break your teeth on him. Oh, oh shit! Fuck that. Oh, dude, happened guys, to me once. Do you guys um uh, crunch a uh, lollipop or like a chubba chub? Do you yeah. guys always crunch or do you ever crunch. suck to the end? I suck it to I the never, end. I Unless it's it got end. chocolate on the middle, you get like that thin outer layer. I then never, you just mm, never, I never it. suck it till the end. I crunch Neither. the last no. bit. This, yeah, I can't resist. Yeah. I get halfway through and I'm like, I get bored. Yeah, yeah. right. Mm. It's just like too much flavor, and it just kind of coats your tongue, and you're like, all right, I'm over this. For me, it's just the I just create the sensation of. No yeah. feeling just crushed between my teeth. Mm. You ever had the Tootsie Pop? I don't think I have. No. Tootsie, Wait, Tootsie, Tootsie Pop. Or is that what I'm talking like, about? Yeah, it's, it's got a the Tootsie Roll in the, in the middle. Oh, that's it. Yeah, Tootsie yeah. Pops. Yeah, it's an American thing, I think. Mm-hmm. Huh. You know it's possible to catch a tarantula with the Tootsie Roll? What? Yeah. Get out of town. Impossible or possible? Possible. I mean, How the fuck apparently, you... apparently, the word on the street is that you can catch like tarantulas, big spiders, uh, by using wax. So you get like a little wax candle. I think you have like some bait or something. And if they go to bite the candle, uh, the wax will actually uh, stick their teeth in and they can't get out and they can't move themselves out. So they'll be embedded into it with their teeth and then you can grab them and then capture them and sell them to a pet store. Why would they want to bite a candle? I'm not sure. Does it smell good? Okay, I, I thought know. it tastes good. That this, part of the streets did not tell me. This is, this is, yeah, dude, the streets was very, very vague, but mm. apparently you could use a Tootsie Roll <laughs> as well, and it'll bite into it, and it won't be able to let go. And Would you ever have a pet tarantula? Fuck no. No, not in the cage or anything? Nope, because if I look in the cage and it's not there, then I don't know, What man. if it was in a terrarium? And you had all the plants and stuff. I it. would, it, I just would not be comfortable with a giant ass spider like in my house. I don't know, man. I'm a huge fucking arachnophobe. Can you imagine if you lived in a sizable glass box and you had a bunch of tarantulas like walking around outside, like looking down at you? <laughs> I'd, 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 I'd be fine <laughs> inside the inside the thing. I would not want to leave. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, you wouldn't just feel a little uh, disenfranchised as a as a person if you were just you know in a box. You know, you had like you know they made it like a nice habitat for a human. Sure, you, know, you got your PC in there. You know, you got what everything you Internet need. Is like some they like hand shit. you in the little Uber yeah. Eats bag every day. <laughs> to Dude, to yeah, that'd, that'd be great. <laughs> but there's a massive tarantulas in whatever habitat they would live in if they were so. the dominant species on Earth. Just webs walking around everywhere and shit. Just <laughs> whips. <laughs> whips. You yeah, go on the world wide web. It's just, it's just like they ha- six whips in the no, web. Well, webs. Oh, yeah. web. Yeah. True. Yeah. You're just like hanging on a fucking web. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, imagine if uh, spiders were the dominant species on earth. Think about it. Why not? To. Why not? Uh, <laughs> it's a great hypothetical. I mean, let's say that they have a like way of communicating and they have a society of some sorts. What would that look like? Would they figure It'd out? It'd be the World Wide Web. That's how they communicate. <laughs> <laughs> shit, dude. They probably use like their web as armor or some shit. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Like wrap themselves and then. What then would spider porn look like? <laughs> this is a real question. Kinky as hell. That'd be an interesting mm. cum shot. A lot of bondage. Fucking, like Spider Man. A, f- <laughs> yeah. a lot of bondage. A lot of bondage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like just webs like <laughs> <just> spread spider. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What animal would have the kinkiest porn? Mm. Human, <laughs> probably, just because of our sheer capacity for creativity. But let's say that other animals can be creative. So, who would have the second kinky's porn? <laughs> probably a monkey, right? Yeah. Maybe a dolphin. Yes. Are we back on this wanna, conversation? The weird shit they do. I want to be imaginative and just think that it would be something like a fire ants or something. A yeah. frog. <laughs> frog. Yeah, frog. Like long ass tongues. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe snails. I don't know. Mm. You never know. Dude, there'll be a long ass video you gotta watch, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't got time for that. <laughs> the plot, like, there's like two <laughs> hours of like, plot where they're yeah. just like <laughs> slowly <laughs> coming again. <laughs> they it's all about the long, edge, though. Mm. It's all about the edge. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm sorry for bringing it up again. I guess I'm just fascinated by animal porn. So <laughs> <Don't> clip that. <laughs> 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 I was gonna say something else, but I've forgotten it. God. Mm. The All right, Mason. Uh, I don't know. Someone yeah. said that we should call the Mason segment on the show the uh, the smegment. The smegment. <laughs> uh. yeah. All right. What's new on the smegment? Uh, my brain's full of smegment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's yeah. that like? Sticky. Sticky. Slow. Icky, smelly. Wet. Wet. It's warm. Just, not warm. Lukewarm. Or cold. I can't feel it. Mason's been cooking recently. Oh, yeah? He's been cooking HelloFresh. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, I've been cooking a bit. I was pretty impressed to hear that. Yeah, what was the meal, dude? Um, creamy bacon uh, pasta. Oh, and oh. it was like with spinach. Um, yeah, just like spinach and healthy greens. It feels good to cook like your own food. And then like, especially when it's like HelloFresh, just laid out and you have the ingredients. Yeah. And like you make it and it yeah, tastes fucking amazing. Yeah, you don't have to shop amazing. for it and you like buy too much and then you don't cook. And then Ryan's like, hey, we're going skiing today. <laughs> and then you're like, fuck, all this food's going to expire. Yeah. Yeah. yeah d- cooking my, does feel very good. So I had that fucking issue where I'd go to the grocery shop, buy a bunch of groceries, go home, order Uber Eats for an entire week straight, and then fucking throw away my entire fridge. Yep. yep. And that shit is just wasteful, and I feel like the biggest douchebag. Yeah. Though I'm not technically doing anything wrong because I did pay for it in that like the economy and whatever. Like the yeah, fucking farmers still get the food, but the principle, absolutely, yeah. like that food goes to waste. I yeah. hate trying to cook and like shop for one person because it's so hard to buy like the right amount to mm-hmm. where it makes sense economically. And like not buying too much story, you just get bored of the food or just like throw it out. This is why you start a family, guys. Yeah. Like me. Just so you mm. can cook. That's where I've been, by the way, recently. Really? Start a family? Reason, yeah, we started a family. Who? Uh, well, why you ask? It's not your business. Yeah, if you He's know. a strong single father. He's fine. I'm a single father. I have five kids. Shit. Five. Five. That's, a, that's a strong night. Busy boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming with five other women? Uh, Yeah, five different women. So... And like the same, like imagine, imagine having an affair with your wife uh, for five days consecutively and you get five other women pregnant along with your wife. And in, in like a year, you have to like <laughs> scramble to like different hospitals and, and like be there for the birth of five That's different kids. That's a good comedy movie right there. And, Born on the and, same day. Yeah. And you're just like, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. You fucking sprint to the other one. None of them know about and each none other. None of them know about each other. And then you have to raise like, like yeah, five. <laughs> five separate families of one child yeah. like over... Uh, you know, twenty years. Uh, I, just, I think I could pull it off. Yeah, I'd just be a shit dad for like all of them, except. No, for I would. I'd be a great dad. I would. Yeah. I would be even Stevens. Yeah, mm. yeah. I would give them all enough time and attention. Um, Use some smokes. 
yeah, you know, mm. I would like, I would be cool. I'd be like, cool dad. It's like, where are you going? <laughs> oh, I'm just out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get some smokes. <laughs> I'll be back in yeah. two hours exactly. I'll be on schedule. I'll have a system. <laughs> <laughs> designated time, designated all my kids. Yeah, that's my goal. Yeah. Because like as a human, right, it's your responsibility to fuck as much as possible, nut in as many females as possible, make as many children as possible. I don't right? think that's, I mean, that's your biological responsibility. No, it's your responsibility as a, as a person. Yeah. I think it's more of <laughs> if like you're a, not doing that, you're doing it wrong. You fail every time life, you jack like that's off. That's the meaning of life, bro. Every time you jack off into one of your fucking tissue uh, sock things, sock things yeah. you're actually doing exactly the same thing as when you throw out the food that you bought. You're being wasteful. You know... That's, when you jizz, you're literally throwing away data. That's you're right. You're throwing away genetic data. Children in like, Africa could have eaten yeah, that jizz. You were, you were throwing... <laughs> what? I think... I can think you cook no. semen? <laughs> yeah, no. I don't but think you can cook semen. But they say it's something like 8 megabytes you or can, something. You can drink it. Ejaculation. Nah, you could cook it, surely. How much data? I don't know, man. How much data is this? You ever think about, like, like, maybe you've jacked off your best offspring? Fuck. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, it would have gone to waste imagine. anyways. Like, it dies after a while, like, right? You're the golden child. He, yeah, he's, he's gone a, now. Oh, there's a doctor. There's an astronaut. There's a, <laughs> oh, that's the guy that, that did World Peace. Oh, that's yep. the president. Oh, oh, so hey. many Nobel Peace oh, Prizes yep. down the fucking And then train. as soon as I nut in a woman, it's a fucking serial murderer. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, shit. Okay. Each sperm <laughs> contains 750 megabytes. So that means each ejaculation is. Holy fuck. What? How, how many terabytes? 135,000 terabytes? All right, so that means that every time you jack Wait, no off... no way. That seems that, way too much. That's the equivalent of, of like 10 million copies well, of the is, B movie. That's right. That's oh, right. this one says something different. 15,000 gigabytes of data. Dude... I'm that sounds more like I'm it. flushing like 10 fuck, million bro. copies of the B-movie down the toilet every day. <laughs> bro, how the fuck, with That's all this so technology, fuck. how is nuts still better than like a hard Dude, drive, how do, we, how do we not have hard drives filled with cum? <laughs> nut cum, nut it, drives. We do, it's called our fucking nutsack. Oh, <laughs> shit, dude. Someone, someone plug me in. Here, I, hold plug on, me. let me make a copy of that real quick. <laughs> just plug me into Fax the Matrix, you. just fucking a catheter with a USB cord in the end. Fuck. You just go all the way into my nuts. Jesus. Does that mean yeah. jerking off is the fastest means of data transfer? Like, how long does it take you to jerk off? Say, like, 10 minutes to hey bust girl, a nut? Hey, 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 girl, I'm just going to unload about 135,000 terabytes onto your face real quick. <laughs> <laughs> There's no input-output. It's just, it's just going to be there. Yeah, I mean, sex is just like linking your Game Boy. <laughs> trading Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> trying, trying to insert your Game Shark. That's right. Yeah. Uh, no, that's only for cheating. Yeah, it's only for cheating. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm trying to raise as many kids as possible cool. while yeah. still being a good dad. It's called the good dad challenge. Most dads fail. <laughs> but me, I got this. Don't worry about it. Mm. I'm at five kids now. Going to get those numbers up, I promise. Going to raise them all. Um, so I guess you could say I'm having a crisis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyways, I'm miserable. Yeah. So anyways, uh, yeah. Things are not going well for me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Too many kids. Too many kids. Too yeah. many kids? Yeah, that's what they say. That's what they say. Too many kids, maybe you want to kill yourself. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say that. Uh, well, no. too many it's kids. It makes me want to kill my, sh my kids and yeah. wives. Yeah. Is that inf in infanticide? Is that what that's called? What's infanticide? In infanticide. In infanticide. You kill an infant? It's when you kill like a baby oh, or like a child. When does it stop being a baby? Like what's the exact year where they don't charge you with infanticide? They charge you with normal homicide. As soon as they grow the fuck up and mm. get over it. You know, stop, stop being a crying, baby. Fucking yeah, baby. Stop being a fucking Bitch baby. baby. <laughs> you just tell your stop being a fucking baby. It's like I literally am one, dude. Okay, I'm allowed to cry. I don't know, dude. Babies are like surprisingly resilient. Yeah, I, yeah. you can bounce them off the walls for you, sure. You can yeah, fucking like. Sure. You need a hammer. He's yeah. like, all right, come here, son. Thanks. Trauma builds character. It, it does. It does. <laughs> the harder a child's <laughs> life is, the the more inspired it will be to succeed. Yeah. So being a horrible dad mm. maybe is a silver lining. True. You know, so what he's saying is true. hit your kids if you want them to be tough. Not yeah. true. <laughs> um, How boring would culture be if everyone was just raised perfectly? Boring. Mm. No, no like rappers would have anything to sing about. Yeah. Yeah, all dude, all no musicians rampers. would have boring ass music. The drug dealers would be all out of business. Yeah. You gotta think Fucking about those hell. guys for sure. I mean, there wouldn't be drug dealers in the first place because no one would even it's need drugs. Fucking true. Yeah. What the fuck? What, what, what do you think? At, at what... At, at, what is the what is the limit uh, of disciplining your kids individually? Like, if you had a child, 
is say they did something like they said, fuck you, dad, or fuck you, mom, you fat, ugly bitch, or something like completely out there, something completely disrespectful. Damn, good one, son. That was something, nice. Something that, that needed correction hastily. Depends mm-hmm. where and when. Yeah, so say, say in the home. At um, dinner. At dinner. So uh-huh. during dinner. So what? Your kid says, fuck you, mom, you fat bitch? Yeah, I don't want to eat this shit. I don't want to eat this garbage fucking meal. <laughs> yeah. All right. So ideally, I would have an ear horn on hand. And I'll, burr, 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 burr. And I'll pull my phone out. And start recording. Real <laughs> <laughs> no. like, look at this little retard. Look at this fucking idiot. You just post it onto all your Facebook groups. <laughs> I mean, honestly, mm. I'd probably, I would be like, whoa, where's this coming from, son? And, um. Yeah, I'll try to figure out like where he learned the words, first of all. Well, I mean, oh, I, that was me again, shit. <laughs> I got the classic pants pulled down in public, slap on the ass. Yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah? I think it's a bit outdated, Mason. Yeah, it's like you know. sexual assault now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make your son starts writing on a twit longer about yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't mm. know. I mean, like, you'd have to question, like, where they learned it from, right? I guess so. Where they, yeah. why, and where is coming from? But isn't it always from? the dad that they learn the curse words from? No. Oh, no, it's school yeah, now. It could be right. school. school. Yeah, I learned all the internet. internet. School. The internet, for sure. I yeah. mean, kids are on, on the internet as early as, like, Yeah, no, now. they're no longer, Dude, kids they're are fucking... no longer going to learn shit at, like, school anymore. It's just going to be on the internet. Yeah, well, that's mm. what, you know, we Sad come times. back to this topic frequently on the podcast where it's like, you have to yeah, educate your kids internet, about. Internet talk. Because you can't, you can't fucking stop it. Yeah, we're hiding from them. Or you can't stop it. It's, it's like they're just out, you know. The entire world is at your fingertips mm-hmm. on the internet. Everything that ever happened. All the porn, all, all the, the gore, all question the gore, they want every, they every horrible interaction, every body cam footage, every live leak video, every guy getting his brain Fuck squeezed body out camp. of his ear. Yeah. Yeah. Body, body cam. Like oh, body cam. cam. Ah. So like it's a real challenge, I think, to raise kids that aren't desensitized Yeah. Um, while still exposing them to things that needs to be exposed to. So mm. I think a big part about raising a kid is exposing them to the appropriate amount of fucked up shit, <laughs> you know, because you can't baby them. All right, Timmy, mm. two girls, one cup, family Come time. Come on, Let's every go. night. Let's no, go. But, you know, it's like, you know, back in the day, it would, the, an example would be you let your kids climb a tree, yeah. even though they could get hurt. Course. Because it's important to it's expose learning, them to risk experience. and danger. Yes. And, you know, obviously it's... Bro, just... I could have died climbing the tree fort we had back home. Now that I think about it, I was 100%. like, bro, one easy fall, we were fucking dead, man. Yeah, but it's kind of I don't of know that, how I haven't broken a bone. It's that weird thing as a parent, I think, where you need to assess risk and, um, and teach your kids, like, how to take risks appropriately. Because mm-hmm. otherwise you're just going to raise a fucking baby. Yeah, you could either raise a, raise a child who... Uh, is too afraid to interact. Like, you have to properly socialize your kids. Like, when I have kids, mm-hmm. man, I'm going to fucking like, be throwing them onto, like, onto the couch, fucking launching them like, around the room, fucking <laughs> spinning them around in the backyard. Like, you know, the floor is lava, but it's actually lava. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, like, like rough play is important for, so for important. kids like, to, to fucking, you know, because you, know, like, you, know, you, you learn your limits. You know what hurts. You know what doesn't hurt. If like, they're going too hard and playing too rough, you go, no, I stop. didn't hit them, officer. It's it was much. just rough play. Yeah. You if, you're si- if like, you have two kids, two siblings, and they're having an argument, I think it's important to like let them actually have the argument yeah. and moderate it as opposed to just shutting it down and like... Yeah. Because like, uh, that's when like the resentment builds between them two. Well, and, yeah, well, plus like arguments happen for a reason, yeah. right? Even amongst children. And if you just shut it down and like pretend the uh, problem doesn't exist, then they just basically learn that that's how you should handle arguments. Problems. Just, yeah. just ignore it. You just... It'd you be know. a discussion. Exactly. Back, back when I worked at a trampoline park, like I dealt with that shit all the time. Like really? kids like mouthing off at each other. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. I get the kids just, mouthing off at the parent. Yeah, no, yeah. Like, shit, oh, like oh, that, yeah. Oh, and I just fuck. like throw them around and like give them like just show them a fun time like just mm-hmm. fucking yeah. toss them and fucking <laughs> they just smack some sense into them <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a kid pushing another kid you're like oh that's a cunt he's just yeah. fucking yeah. throwing <laughs> the <laughs> trampoline yeah. Yeah. remember the phone blacks yeah. I don't know I feel like as far as discipline goes I would never like hit my kid with a belt I never hit him upside the head I think the most I would do would just fucking like poke him in the back or, or you know smack him you know maybe on, on like the, the ad. like it has to be something that's uh, that, that doesn't actually hurt, mm-hmm. and it has to be just an like like an annoying like like sh- sharp, very temporary pain. Yeah, like just your kid so grabs just like, for something and you just hit their yeah, hand away. No, or like, no, what are you doing? Yeah, you know, of or, course. That, that, that's like the only extent. But I would just be, I'd just be talking. I'd just be like spurring their brain. I'd be like, okay, man, yeah, like I actually have to critically think. 
and mm. you know they go through the thought process and that kind of thing yeah i mean like like i said earlier I teach them how to assess why they're feeling the way they're feeling mm-hmm. and then be like well why is that and then because you know one thing kids do a lot is they ask why 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 mm-hmm. why right like why is this like that da, da, da. i remember a phase that i went through when i was like that all the time yeah oh, sure. oh, my dad crazy like, yeah same <laughs> like, i ask a million why? questions uh-huh. in the morning on the way to school my dad be like yeah just okay. white knuckling the steering wheel just <laughs> <laughs> like so, so why does this happen and he just be like because god okay because <laughs> god made it that way shut up <laughs> yeah. like okay but you could pull that shit on your kids as well i mean i love how we're giving parenting advice we're fucking retards <laughs> but you could pull like, you could pull that shit on your kids as well like they say i think this guy's stupid you say why and you'd be right. like, well because he didn't sit with me at lunch why and, you know well because i called him a mean name earlier in the day why you know and then you you know, teach them how to fucking think, think back to the root of like what the hell is going on, and then, then you have Dude, a self-aware person that knows how to fucking navigate the world. Kids are are really stupid, man, but they have such a wealth of knowledge because <laughs> like they they they're like a, a clean uh, Canvas. they're like a clean slope of snow. Uh, f- for us, we've been going down the same slope in the same sled. Uh, for the entirety of our lives and mm-hmm. we've just every time we go down this track we're just stuck in the same track that we that, that we left behind mm-hmm. uh but for kids it's, you know they just fucking go anywhere like they're very fucking amazing thinkers yeah you know they think outside of the box and attack True. problems and assess things completely differently man yeah. i would be like cracking my son's head open like an egg <laughs> and absorbing that knowledge that place is getting a little rough there bro <laughs> it's getting a little too rough or something <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on? They just knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> fucking rewire some shit. Yeah, no, that's very right. true. Like we're so influenced by the environments we were brought up in, and mm-hmm. we're so like so so many people. Almost everyone is like a very rigid, like story that they tell themselves, a way of thinking that they were just raised into believing. Mm-hmm. Or like you know, even just your environment now as an adult, the climate that we're in, like. Some things to us seem completely absurd simply because of like expectations of things mm-hmm. around us. When in reality, like if you really get to a fundamental level of what it means to be human, like it doesn't really mean much at all. And like so many cultural differences, like so many people have different ways of thinking and assessing mm. situations. And that's exactly like, like how kids are until you fucking corrupt them and ruin them with, you know, yeah. your shit rules and whatever else like yeah. bullshit you fucking impose the on them. The school system. You know, anything, right? I feel like the so. school system really fucks a lot of kids. Oh, for sure. Catholic schools mainly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Catholic schools are probably worse. Yeah. They, Fucking they, uniforms. They, 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 oh, they, fuck the uniforms, I had uniforms man. growing up at school. I, I had uniforms until I got to like high school then I had like no sense of style. Yeah. <laughs> Still don't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's no institution that fucks more kids than, than the Catholic school. <laughs> <laughs> True. Fuck. Uniforms are so, so interesting. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uniforms are so interesting, right? Yeah. Like as a concept, putting it's kids in uniform. So stupid, man! I hate it. It's like a it's a I military thing. Shit. It's it's literally like you know you know the entire American school system was was built uh, on the on the premise that they were going to be. Uh, exactly. adapted to go oh, into a yeah, factory yeah, yeah. workforce. That's why when the fucking bell rings, oh, lunch. Uh-huh. You know, that's like thing. the whole classroom layout yeah. and everything. The tape, I, like I, all that shit. Public school systems, dude. Like. The only like the only rationale I could say like why I would put my kid in a public school system would be like oh well you have to you have to learn and suffer because the real world is going to be like this it is such yeah. a, I feel like it's good learning experience just being in like some scuffed area like that it definitely prepares you for the workforce still yeah you know it, it for does. most you know jobs like yeah. it's not a insanely pleasant environment um, but fuck man it's not ideal is it no but it's also the best we've got by and large well, like sure. you have a problem of how you're going to educate millions of children. You know, you have so many kids. You need to have some institution, right, to yeah. put them through. But we just haven't figured yeah. out a better way than this archaic system. That's yeah, it's just annoying that children who are gifted in most scenarios can't exceed or excel past their peers. I hate that, that word gifted. Sorry, go on. <laughs> gifted. Gifted. Yeah. Well, you know, autistic. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. it's just like, it's just like people that are really tuned in, like they're fucking amazing at math or they're amazing at a certain subject or they're incredible writers and they're very talented. But because of some kind of program or mm. some, the way that it, it's meant to be fair, they're they're stuck in the cattle pen with with all their peers and, yeah. they, and they can't excel in certain subjects or or do certain things that interest them. Yeah. And they're stuck doing the same shit. And they're taught by a system that they're inadequate because they're not thriving yeah yeah it's very weird you know it's it's odd dude i think the reason i said that i hate that word gifted is because 
that I don't know if that's the same in America, but a lot of kids were told they were gifted, like gifted kids in uh, New Zealand. Really? Um, meaning, like, it's a good thing, right? Meaning, oh. like, oh, you're like really intelligent, like you're you're really smart, like you're, but yeah. like completely ostracizes them and isolates them and like makes them. It gives them a complex from a very early right, age that they're, they're actually better. better than other people, and then they'll like go through the entire school system thinking, oh, I'm a gifted kid, I'm a gifted kid. Yeah, you don't want to. And then they get into the real yeah. world, and it's like, oh, I'm actually. No, I'm actually not gifted. Yeah, I actually just you don't. Yeah, I mean, you just don't want to have like a label that that puts some kind of pretense yeah. on it. Like it has yeah. to. It's so weird the way that schools are. The, the whole social setup, the whole scenario, cliques, and <laughs> all of that. Mm. That shit is. Yeah, man, high school was fucking weird. It's survival. What was your guys' high school experience? Well, I, we all we all know yours, mm. but what was like all of ours? What was it? What was that like? What was your high school experience like? Uh, it was a lot of fucking around, yeah. like just in the classroom, just doing shit with good old Big D. <laughs> big D. Big D. It was always a disappointment <laughs> when I wasn't in his class for a semester, yeah. but uh-huh. fucking, yeah, we just like talk shit to the teachers, like, but we'd listen was to it. Was it a rowdy school? It was pretty rowdy, yeah. but yeah. like, you know, it's when there was, it's like every school, there's a fight on the over, everyone's there how, watching it. How many, how many people went to your high school? Uh, like about 900 or 800 shit yeah right. my my primary school though was very small my first one that i went to had like 300 kids really mm, that's yeah. really small but today's day, even 900 kids is really small for a high school yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but it was like uh it was just it was it was pretty fun like mm. at, at recess and lunch we always found random shit to do like mm-hmm. yeah. you know kill plubbers with tennis rackets. well that wasn't me <laughs> that, was you, yeah. that was the other kid yeah i was know. the other Wait, kid what? doing that shit I, plumbers plovers plovers oh, birds. The birds. Birds. i think i told that story in the yeah, podcast yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. it's fucking I horrific like plumber. i was like jesus uh, <laughs> for <the> mario <laughs> yeah but no my, my high school experience is pretty good like nice. just found sh- always shit to fuck around like yeah. what's that class called like were you ceramics Oh yeah, yeah. Just throw like clay at the walls and shit. Oh. Just have clay walls in the class. <laughs> oh, Jesus do you remember? Christ. Did you have to, have to like put it in the kiln or whatever to like heat it up? Yeah, the clay? yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember shit. some people. They were little little shits. So they'd like um, when you're making it, the teacher's always like, "Okay, make sure there's no air pockets. You gotta squeeze all the air yeah, pockets, otherwise it's gonna make... blow up in the kiln." So <laughs> fucking the one smart ass in the class always every time would like fucking make this big ass air pocket into his thing. Just they put it in the kiln, it blow up and ruin everyone's <laughs> shit. <laughs> fucking amazing though. It's literally making a bomb. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> epic. But I uh, no, yeah, my high school experience. I had like 2,500 kids in my high school. It's fucking massive. Shit. How many? To, like 2,500. And, and that's Fuck, American. I had like a thousand. Yeah, like, no, you have the whole like lockers thing, thing and everything. I, I never fucking bothered with lockers. Everyone had one, the, but we never used it, well, did you? I never uh-huh. used it because the fucking school was so big. My locker was out of the way of all my classes, and I wasn't going to walk fucking five minutes to the other side of the fucking facility to, to get a book out and bring it. So I just lugged around. Yeah, that's what a we giant did. Uh, backpack. Just a backpack, yeah. like a couple binders, and that's yeah. all you needed. And, you yeah. know, it's not like a fucking Ned's Declassified School Survival where people get yeah. to pimp out Ooh. their lockers with mirrors yeah. and pictures with Did you ever use the like the big ass textbooks or any of that? shit yeah i had it all man i fucking lugged it around yeah. i thought it was good for my it was back weird. i used bi- <laughs> <laughs> boy were you wrong yeah. <laughs> it was weird we always used textbooks up until like i went to high school like public school and then like we just never used them hmm. we'd always yeah. use like packets yeah. and shit like that or the teachers print shit out hmm. then you go to college you're like oh now i actually need textbooks hmm. and then the same shit you never use it my high school was so expensive my high school yeah. was fucking random they could dude. pirate them we had uh, we had uh, like cops. We had like uh, like cops in the school. Like there were like maybe two or three. Like uh, th- there were cops that were like too bad at their job to to like you know not have to like be a part of the school system. So like for instance, we had one officer who uh, got downgraded from the force to the school because he pulled somebody over. Uh, to to give a traffic ticket on a hill, and he forgot to do his handbrake, and uh, his fucking <laughs> his cop car rolled all the way down the hill oh. and, uh, and and crashed um, oh. into into a parked car. So they were like, <laughs> "You're an idiot. You're going to the school." And he was like, "Fuck." <laughs> uh, but he he had a lot of fun uh, body slamming kids into lockers uh, that were in the middle of fights. They so, were f- so he got demoted from um, from a cop to prison guard. Essentially, yes, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> Dude, that guy, I, he, there were so many fucking videos in like the four years I was in that school of him fucking body slamming people, of throwing God. them into lockers, oh. and putting them in headlocks, and taking dude, them to the Dude, you should have seen the fucking, what they, what they call it, SRO, the student resource officer. That's exactly like a, what it is. Dude, you should have seen the one at our school. He is the fucking wrestling coach. The cunt was like 50 years old, but he was the biggest guy you've ever seen. Yeah. Like, 
the chest on this dude was like bigger than Schwarzenegger in his prime and he's like 50 nice. I'm not even kidding you <laughs> if I remember like someone fucked something up at the school and like the sprinklers went off and like one whole wing or some oh shit my God. and you could just see him like standing at the end like this just pissed covered in water just like <laughs> you're like oh dude if he finds out whoever did that they're you're fucked he rips off he's fucking he's yeah, like fucking if kids are fighting you just like pick him up with crazy. one hand and shit he's fucked oh dude I remember God was jacked I, I remember walking to class with my best friend at the start it was literally the start of the day we just got off the bus we're walking out. we're literally just talking shit and then all of a sudden, these these two women, man, these two women just come out from the stairwell and they're fucking grabbing each I other's hair the and they're fucking beating the shit out of like like literally both of them are punching each other in the face like at the oh. same time, grabbing both of their hair in in this lock and they're fucking doing this into the walls and shit. And I'm just standing there with my friend and I'm, we're just like, what the fuck? And we're just like, holy shit! And so <laughs> you didn't like, record it. What the fuck? No, dude. We're, oh. we're like, cause there was fucking you know, as soon as like that shit happened, everybody like looked around and saw it and fucking gathered around mm -hmm. this girl ripped off this other girl's weave dude and the <laughs> weave was down this one guy weave down weave down this one guy literally screaming yo weave down weave <laughs> down world star world <laughs> it's so much oh ruckus the fucking officer came over man he spear tackled one of them Jesus fucking crazy oh did you ever have bomb threats at your school oh yeah dude this guy made a hit list what the fuck? Yeah, America's fucked. <laughs> Dude, we, had, we literally no, one no. year had like 10 bomb threats. Yeah, like they just go in the bathroom and stall and write like, I yeah. had a bomb just yeah, to get out of test. Two, two bomb threats. Big D got suspended for making a bomb threat. Oh, really? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> he, he made a, he fucking, he was in uh, media class and he went on the Bunnings website and was like, yeah. Get some nitroglycerin. It, get was, some of it wasn't exactly a bomb threat. It was more like there's a suitcase here and oh kind of was but it was like there's a suitcase here arriving at this time if it doesn't get picked up blah 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 oh my god Wait, why was it on bunnings i don't know i don't know it was just you just felt like doing it to bunnings i guess but okay and jesus then, and then he got uh and then they like went through the cameras in the class and like saw like him on the computer doing it but like and then there was two of our mates like next to him like who got in trouble as well oh wow it was just fucked <laughs> yeah no we had a we had a kid in our middle school i uh, write up a list of all the all the popular kids that he fucking hated <laughs> and, oh. I th and i think he literally wrote hit list <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> like on the top man, um thanks. I remember, like, it was just this big fucking thing where everyone was like, just don't go to school on Monday. Like, apparently, he's going to fucking, like, bring a gun and, and shoot it up. That and, is absolutely and, awful. And, and I was like, I was like, fuck, that's good news. And then I went to my mom, <laughs> and I was like, mom, some kid's going to shoot up the school on Monday. Can I stay home? And she was like, hmm. Are you sure? I go. I don't know. It's a rumor. Everyone's <laughs> everyone's telling me. It's like she an actual like, South Park episode. Yeah, yeah, it's like everyone's <laughs> telling me. You guys don't have snow days over there. You just have school shooter days. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh my god, he's gonna shoot the school. Day well, off. Let's well, go. Like, I was <laughs> game, man. I figured like, hey, dude, I, I had to fucking go in. And I could play Terraria and fucking chill out. Man. Yeah, it was pretty sick. Fuck that, man. I couldn't imagine going to school and being scared of that kind of shit. I'm, I was never... Some schools, know, some bad school, like some public schools will have like metal detectors and shit you have to go through. Yeah, some will have like clear backpacks you have to use. I mean, they took that shit pretty seriously at our school. If you even had a pocket knife from a camping trip in your bank. Oh, yeah. You couldn't have like, none you, of you'd that be, shit. You'd be absolutely fucked. Mm -hmm. Even if like you went to the office to be like, hey, I accidentally brought this pocket knife from a camping trip. would be like, you're suspended two weeks. And she's like, dude... Like, I came clean. Like, I didn't fucking stab anyone. It's like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It was really, really, really fucked up. You could, <laughs> I had kids in middle school, and I would put fucking fill up water bottles with vodka, and they use a lighter to make it sealed. And then they would they would carry it around, and then they'd finally, like, uncap the bottle and just start drinking it and passing it to their friends. They'd get fucking shit-faced in middle school. <laughs> Absolutely shit-faced. One, one threw up in class, and then they all got busted. Uh, Idiot. Wow. <laughs> Love school. Yep. School's great. <laughs> public school, man. American public schools are lit. Well, how, <laughs> what, was, what, was, what was everybody's grades like? Uh, I don't fucking remember. What's bro. the lo lowest grade? Uh, well, it's different over here. Like, f I've definitely got a few not achieved in my life. Yeah. Um, but when I transferred to my fucking uh, strange school, I did pretty fine. Got like mostly merits or excellence. Cool. Uh, which is like the top two. I just had a lot of late handed work. Yeah. Like, late, late. Yeah. Just didn't hand it in early enough. Yeah. yeah, I was a guy that passed math with a D plus. Yeah, math's like really not that important unless no. you unless you really need it for your profession. Yeah, I, I really don't. Yeah. I, I just need simple addition, subtraction, division. 
Yeah, I yeah. knew I wouldn't really have much use for math, so I only did level one. Because oh, that I was don't the even know if I can remember division. <laughs> and, you know, like... 10 <laughs> divided by 2 is 5, right? Yeah. 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 Well yeah. Done. I, I couldn't do anything like... 15 divided by 3. 5. 8 divided by 2. 4. Boy, oh, you fucking shut like, up. I can't like, 63 it. divided by 9. It's 5. S- 7. Swagger doesn't even know himself. Hang on. Well, 6 plus 3 is 9. Is Wait, nine. what? No, that can't work. I don't think 63 work. is divisible yeah. by 9, mate. Yo, you want to hear a cool math trick? <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear a cool math trick? And transition. 9 plus 9 is 18, right? Yeah. yeah. 1 plus 8 is 9. 3 times 9 is 27. 2 plus 7 is 9. And then, what, well, it would be 4 times 9 is 36. 3 plus 6 is 9. Okay, where's this going? It's just a pattern, isn't it cool? <laughs> what? Ma- so, Maths is actually a very man, interesting Man, I don't language, read numbers it? in my head because, like you, because, because, like, if you, if you take the digits 1 and 8 and 18 and add them together, you get 9. So you know it's divisible by 9 oh. if you add the two together and it makes 9. Right. So, like, even, like, you know, 90, 9 plus 0 is 9. Uh, it goes all the way out. Is how you remember. Mathematics oh. is really quite a, like, insanely intricate, beautiful human made system, yeah, isn't it? it's, it's not even human made it's just our, our way of expressing what is a natural phenomenon yeah but I mean, it's human made because we've you've, we have developed the system in order to explain things right yeah like the fibonacci sequence one plus one is two plus one mm-hmm. is three plus two is five mm-hmm. plus three is you know all it's the ca- way yeah and that's that's how, that's the optimal way uh, that that seed pods form on flowers Mm. And, and petals form on flowers. Mm, and I yeah. think it's also the, technically the golden ratio. It's something like fucking pi divided by... Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Something like that. I mean, yeah, obviously, it fundamentally exists because if you have an apple and another apple, then you have two apples, right? But we have like invented this language in order to communicate like what that means. Yeah. We invented like kind of logic like, or some shit. It's, it's kind of like time, right? Like how time fundamentally yeah, yeah. exists. Yeah, but like... It also doesn't exist the way that we no the way that we interpret it. Interpret just time gri- is develop the system to interpret com- it completely. Right? Like, you know, we use a yeah. Gregorian calendar. Yeah, crazy, yeah. crazy to think about. It, it's you know, it's not really two thousand and whatever. It's, it's like it's like it's like year fucking ten billion. Yeah. you know, whatever the fuck. But you know, be, if, if, if you want to judge it by years, it. yeah. yeah, well, you know, in, in in years calendar. it's just our solar calendar, yeah. the, the, the rotation around the sun. Fucking you know, it's wild. like oh, I'm I'm thirty two, but you know, I'm only I'm I'm thirty two cycles of rotation around the sun. It's, yeah, uh, it's like it's a completely arbitrary. So can you explain time. how old you are to an alien when you meet him? You know, true. You go glip glop, glip glip glop, boom, glip glip, glip glip glip, and then they're like, "Oh, I see." Yeah, which yeah. means uh, thanks for listening to the Misfits podcast because uh, yeah. it's uh, it's just about time. It's just about time, guys. All right. Thank you for staying with us here today. Be kind to your neighbor. Except, what does Mister Rogers say? I don't fucking know. Put your hands together like this. You're gonna pray. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us here today <laughs> on the Misfits podcast. Get your game of subs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Gamersubs.gg code misfits. 10% off. Get fucked, cunts. We'll see you next week. Have a good one, boys. Peace. Bye bye.